everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to talk about brands. Uh, there are certain brands that I buy over and over again. Uh, the products from these brands are ones that really agree with me, with my skin, with my complexion, with my coloring. Uh, and these are brands when there's, uh, when there's discounts at Ulta or VIB sales at Sephora or discounts with, with them, things go on sale. Uh, that these are the items that I purchase over and over again because they're very important to me. Uh, so I thought I would uh, talk to you about those. So I'm going to link some of them below. I won't link them all, so I won't overload you with links, but I'll link a few of them uh, so that y'all can kind of see what they look like. The first one is a line that is extremely important to me. This is not something you can buy at Sephora or Ulta. Uh, you can buy part of it online or uh, you may need to buy it from a dermatologist, but it's Obagi Skin Care. I've used Obagi for years. I love it. I swear by it. There's two different kinds that you can get. You can get one kind that uh, it's Obagi New Derm. Uh, it started by Dr. Obagi. He sold the company and then started his own company called Zio. And I have tried those products. I do not like them as well. I've gone back to the new derm and I will just stay with them. I'm very, very pleased with them. But anyway, uh, you can buy products with hydroquinone or without hydroquinone. Uh, you can, the hydroquinone you need to get from your dermatologist because, and be under a dermatologist's care, it's a strong product, it's controversial, and you need to be examined to make sure it's okay and agreeing with you. Uh, so those are the ones that I use, and I get most of it from a dermatologist. Some of the products work with both the uh, hydroquinone type and the other type that ha does not have hydroquinone, which is called the Obagi FX. So the FX you can buy online. I wanted to talk about Obagi specifically because there are so many skincare lines out there, and um, I think I think other skin care lines are advertised a lot more than Obagi is. As far as I know, Obagi doesn't send out any PR or anything like that. And Every product that I always feel like I have to say, but every product that I talk about, I've always purchased myself. I don't get PR and I don't do sponsored videos, so I always pay for my stuff myself. So, Obagi doesn't know who I am, or none of these companies do. It's just products that I like. So, I like to get Obagi out there, the, the word and the name out there, because I want it to stay relevant. I don't want it to go away from lack of business, competing with other skincare lines and also because I think that it's the best that there is. Um, I have used it for years and years. Uh, I do not have good genes, uh, good genetics. My mother had horrible skin, and by the time she was my age, she sagged down to her boobs. But her boobs, on the other hand, looked really firm and stood up, so that was an aside, but her, her jowls did sag. Uh, my father, I didn't uh, know him in later life, but from pictures I had seen, he looked very old too. So, uh, you know, I feel like there was a lot of genetics that I was fighting, and I got my, definitely got my mother's skin because the rest of my body is just covered with spots and everything like she had. Uh, so I do think that Obagi has kept my skin clear. Uh, my dermatologist says that every person that she has ever uh, seen that used Obagi long term has the best skin that she's ever seen of any other brand out there. Um, everybody that I know that uses it, I have several relatives that use it. They have the decades younger than their age. It's just a skincare line that I hope it always stays around and I hope I can always use it. So. Um, if you use the prescription part of it, I use that with Retin-A, uh, you need to go to a dermatologist or you can get the other kind, which is the FX part of it. And you can either use the FX with the Retin-A retin or a Retinol that Obagi also sells. It is pricier, but I don't feel like it's any pricier than any other skincare line that you buy. I just now use two of the products except for the sunscreens. I just use two of the products, and so I, it, those products last me for a long time. I use just a tiny amount, and they last me for months and months, so I feel like by not switching around, trying new products, I'm actually saving money. So, Obagi Skincare, um, I use the blender, 
with the hydroquinone mixed with my Retin-A at night. And in the morning after vitamin C serum, I use the Expoderm. Those are the products that I use on my chest to kind of even it out. I use the tinted, I use the warm tint sunscreen on my face. Every day, I always use the Sun Shield Matte. So, Obagi is my skincare line. I love it. I hope it always stays around. And, um, you know, it's worth a look, I think. Either buying it over the internet or through, the, uh, or through your dermatologist office. Whichever kind that you get. The stronger kind or the kind that's sold more over the counter. And by the way, if you do buy over the internet, make sure you buy from a reputable company. I usually um, always get mine from either a derm store I think Penn Smith, who has a YouTube channel, she sells it. Uh, I get it from lovelyskin.com. I do not get it from Amazon. There have been a lot of complaints from Amazon people selling fake things, so I wouldn't get it from Amazon. But uh, those three places I know are going to sell you true Abaji products. My next uh, line that I swear by that I get from Ulta, especially when they have the great big container sales, is Nioxin. I use this for thinning hair. I've been very pleased with it. I've gone back to it. I'll try other things and I always go back to it. I use the number four, which is color safe. It is for colored hair, progressed thinning. So uh, I feel like it has made my scalp real healthy. Um, everything seems to irritate my scalp and burn it. This does not, it settles it down. I notice less hair shedding when I use it. I use the shampoo conditioner. I use the um, the treatment. It's like a mousse. I put it on my scalp, bring it all the way down to the ends, and I use after that the gel. And that's all the products that I use. Um, I blow dry my hair and then roll it on. Like today, I rolled it on a curling iron with Velcro rollers in it. So a lot of people prefer a, a similar thing that you can get at Sally's that I always used for years, which is the Nutrox. And I know my friend Elle really, really has good luck with the Nutrox. And I really do like it. I like it a whole lot and it does a great job. But on my particular hair at this age with so much bleach and everything, I do a little bit better with that Nutoxin. So it's worth it to, to pay the extra money to me to get what I want. And I look forward to, you know, when they get the big leader things um, at Ulta, then I buy them then and try to stock up. The next line I just absolutely love. It's my very favorite eyeshadow line, and I don't own all of the palettes, but I wish I did. It is Urban Decay. Uh, my very favorites are completely different. The uh, Naked Smoky, which has been discontinued, but it's just an example of you know how good their products are. These formulas suit me to a T. They blend just perfectly. They bring out my eyes just perfectly. Their perfection to me. It's the best brand for me that, that, that I can possibly buy. And I have great luck, something completely different, the Naked Heat. So two different palettes that I've tried similar colors with other lines, doesn't work out as well. It's just something about this formula with my eyes. They're absolutely perfect. I have on a palette today, which is just the Naked to Basics. Very simple with a wing liner. Uh, but, you know, I just, you know, here is the Born to Run. Absolutely love it. I have to say my favorite eyeshadow brand, my favorite palettes to buy are Urban Decay. Whenever I can, whenever I can afford it, when they have a new one, I do try to buy it because I know I'm going to be happy with it. Like I said, neutral, warm, cool, anything that they make, it just suits me perfectly. I really like it. Okay, the next line that I love and I always stock up on uh, a particular product is um, Benefit, their blushes. I think they have the best blushes. I swear by Rocketeur, I pretty much wear it every single day. I can't tell you, I, this is probably my fifth box. Uh, it's just, I go, I hit pan, scrape at the ends, and I wear it pretty much every single day. If I'm going to wear a warm look, I love, and I've hit pan on it too, the Coralista. 
I just I love the packaging, the box, the, the smell, the little mirror, everything about them. They're just beautiful, beautiful blushes. And then while I was sick, a friend of mine gave me the blush bar. It's got the Rocketeur in it. It's got that beautiful dandelion in it too. It's so pretty. It's got Gold Rush. It's got Hula. It's got California in it and Rocketeur. What a wonderful gift to get somebody for Christmas or when they're in the hospital. So she knows who she is. I love her. Thank you. Okay, I've got to get the NARS brand in here because they have the very my very favorite eyeliner. Very, very favorite eyeliner, stick eyeliner. And it is the uh, NARS Via Veneto. I absolutely love this liner. It is black. I use it in my waterline and to tightline with. Um, it's black, but it isn't so harsh and black like other eyeliners that I've used that are black. This one is a softer one. I don't know. It's just, it, it doesn't have any brown in it, and it doesn't really have charcoal in it. It's just a soft black. It's almost a neutral black, but it's not that real cold black. It's just perfect, um, and it, it stays in my waterline. It stays when I tightline. Um, I really just love this and I always buy when there's a VIB sale at Sephora I always buy this and I have discovered a beautiful besides the one I have on now which is a different one another gorgeous red that I have been wearing over and over again it's called Heat Wave it's absolutely gorgeous it's another kind of a warm red it's similar to the one I have on but it's a beautiful, beautiful red, and I just uh, I've, I've gone back and forth between the one I have on and this one by NARS. But my niece told me about this, and I've just been absolutely uh, just really struck with this with this lipstick. It just NARS has beautiful lipsticks, uh, and I just love this one. Okay, another lipstick that I really, really love lip line is Buxom. Uh, I wear this one pretty much all the time, except when I'm wearing red. This you know, the one that I have on now, or the NARS. I wear this one all the time. It is the Buxom Poison Nectar. It's a gorgeous color. It's deeper than a neutral, just a little bit, but just slightly. It's pink, it's peach, it's just that perfect combination, and it just feels so good going on. Uh, I'm very, I'm very, very pleased with this. And I have, this one is my third one that I've bought, so I always buy it. Uh, whenever you know I keep a backup of it this one is something else that I have on today that somebody else it's by Buxom that another friend sent me it is the Paradise Paradise Found uh, they're plumping it's Va Va Plump it's Paradise Found but I, well you can see it I have it on today it's very similar to the NARS so I switch back and forth with them but um, it stays, it's long wearing, it's beautiful, and it doesn't dry up my lips at all. And I never ever think to put on anything under my lips, like to condition them or anything. So these, uh, this is done real well and not dried up my lips at all. Buxom lip glosses. I never did like lip glosses until Buxom. I discovered their White Russian and just always, always keep it. This is another one. Whenever I can find a sale, I always will buy White Russian. It's just beautiful. It's, I don't know, it's the perfect amount of glow without being too shiny and too much like Vaseline. It's just a glow. It smells good. Um, it just, I love it. I tell you, the Buxom line of lipsticks like NARS are just really, especially these Buxom lip glosses. Just really, I like them a whole lot. Okay, one last uh, lipstick that I've really, really enjoyed. I like to have a deep color like to wear with a ring, uh, winged liner, which is the NARS and the, the Buxom. I like to have a medium color, which is the Buxom Poison Nectar, and I like to have a real pale color when I do a real cool smoky eye. I always use Tom Ford. I love those lipsticks, but they discontinued the one that I liked, which was the Nude Vanilla. So, I, I looked around and looked around, and so I found Charlotte Tilbury, and I love the Kim KW. Well, you can't see it. It's just so light. It's right there, but that's what it looks like. It's just such a good substitute for nude vanilla. It matches it almost perfectly, and also I bought her lip liner to wear with it, which is Lip Cheat, and it's just beautiful. It's just the perfect color to wear with it.
Those are my very favorite brands, um, my very favorite products, the ones that I buy over and over again and just won't do without. Um, just so many favorites there and stuff that I look forward to buy when they go on sale. Uh, busy week. I know you, everybody in the U.S. is getting ready for Thanksgiving. We are having not only you know, with the kids are living with us and everything, but my daughter-in-law's parents are coming for Thanksgiving too. So we're going to have a house full for Thanksgiving and I'm going to be cooking it. Uh, you know, with all the trimmings, everything's going to be gluten-free. And let's see, I think on Instagram I'll talk about my recipes, my gluten-free recipes. So I haven't had a chance to watch everybody's on my friends' videos on here and I apologize for that. So I'm hoping that soon I can get caught up on watching everybody's videos because I sure have missed seeing everybody. So thank you so very much for watching. I can't thank you enough and um, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you before then. Bye-bye.